What's up, what's up, everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MCG. And uh, yeah, today we have ourselves a Time Spiral Remaster Booster Box Battle. Uh, man, you know you out there who've been watching my channel, you know the drill, you know how much I love TSR. And uh, it warms my heart that I have patrons that love TSR just as much as I do. So for those of you who may not be familiar with how this thing works, we're gonna open this thing up. Everyone's gonna get six packs. We're gonna open those packs up in rounds of three. We're gonna add up the mana values for all the rares, the mythics, and the time shifted cards. And we're gonna add them up at the end of this thing, the person with the highest total mana value and the person with the lowest total mana value amongst those cards is each going to get uh, one additional pack of a, a Lost Caverns of Ixalan uh, collector pack. Uh, in the event of a tie, we will take the highest mana value Mythic as the first tiebreaker, and the highest mana value Rare as a second tiebreaker, and in the case that we have a third tiebreaker, uh, we will have some sort of jousting contest or something. All right, I'm going to set these off to the side. Why don't we go ahead and start this thing, crack this thing open, and uh, get started here. You know, it's really cool for me, and I, and I just said this, is, is having, uh, you know, A, patrons that, that just believe in me enough to allow me to do this for them, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that, but uh, to have uh, people that really enjoy this product as much as I do, uh, this is the first battle of mine when I put them out on a monthly basis, this is consistently the first battle to fill up, and that's awesome. <laughs> uh, it fills up, uh, it filled up really, really quick this time, uh, it was really, really surprised pleasantly surprised but happy with it very very cool tsr um i think it's an example of an extremely well done product it's got value at mythic it's got value at rare it's got value at time shifted um the foils mean something pulling foils in this product is kind of a big deal so it's just a really sweet product all right i'll do one more shuffle here And, all right, let's get this thing started. So we got six packs for J and V. We have six packs for Unholy Ram. Six packs for Joey B. Six for Bear Paw. Six for Reese. And last but not least, six for David. All right, we're going to go three, two, one. So we'll do three packs, two packs, and then one pack for the last round. Good luck, everybody. Let's have some fun. J and V, you are up first. Let's see some juice. Uh, the big deal on these are about one per box on average. You get one foil time shifted, uh, one foil time shifted card. And uh, they have a really, really nice multiplier on them. Okay, here we go. Lightning Axe, Sulfur Elemental. First rare mythic is going to be a Mangara of Corondor. That is a three time shifted card. Nature's Claim, not bad as a time shifted card. And token after that. All right. That's a little four spot there. Big chase cards are, um, you know, Chalice of the Void, um, Gemstone Caverns, Sliver Legion, Herborg. Tomb of Yogmoth. All right, Stormcloud Jin. Shivan Meteor. Drown New Lich Lord is the next rare up. Ancient Stirrings, another one drop as the uh, time shifted card. Time shifted wise, I mentioned uh, Chal Chalice of the Void is actually, I think the most valuable card in the set for non foil. That is, uh, I know there are several patrons chasing one of those. Would love to pull one of those today. All right. Time Bender. If High Arcanist as a seven spot, Ramunap ruins after that. It's ruined. So high low, high low, kind of the theme there for J and V after three packs. So we have a zero, seven, eight, uh, eight plus five, 13, 14, and 17 in total. There we go. Pen did not want to work there. I'll throw the ancient stirring. Actually, probably nature's claim up top there. All right, unholy ram, you are up next. Probably going to average about four mythics per box. Uh, there's 15 mythics, some good ones up at the top, and then again, no collector boxes yet, right? No set boxes. So foils are kind of special. You're you're talking about one, maybe two foil rares on average per box. Fungal reaches. Heartwood storyteller as a three. Stonehorn Dignitary as the time shifted card. That is a four. 
Nothing crazy yet. A lot of box left yet. God, I miss how easy these packs are to open. I'm so used to the collector packs, and it's like pulling teeth to open them. Sudden spoiling, or sudden death, excuse me. Dormant sliver. Magus of the Future, another big mana value. Not big value, but mana value. And an Elvish Mystic after that. Actually, Elvish Mystic is uh, worth a few bucks as well. First, uh, hey, first uh, foil of the, of the box is a foil common. It's an evolution charm. Sweet, sweet. All right. One more pack. Griffin Guide. All right. Thor, or Sports Sower Thalid, Sliver Smith. Rare is a boom or bust. So in this case, on the split rare, I do add them up. So it's a six, that's a seven, and an eight. And a containment priest after that, which is a two. So pretty big mana values there for Ram. So we got a two. Uh, what did I say? It was six, seven, eight. So that's 10, 11, 16, 20, 23. 23. And, uh, yeah, probably Elvish Mystic on top. Actually, I'm kind of partial to Boom and Bust. Kind of love that card because I, uh, I'm a monster and don't mind land destruction. All right, Joey B, you're up for three. All right, come on. Haven't seen any, any juice yet, though. It's time. Char Rumbler. Calciform Pools. Mm-hmm. Rare is a Kerr Keep. Uh, uh, there are several very good rare lands, not particularly one of them. That's a zero mana value. And a Thrag Tusk after that, that is a five. Keeping, kind of keeping the theme. So far, it's been high, low, high, low as far as mana values are concerned. All right. Cloud Cedar, Hench Fiend of Ukor, Dark Heart Sliver. Rare Stuffy Doll, uh, an oldie but a goodie for me. I love me some Stuffy Doll. That is a five. E-Wit, nice, good old Eternal Witness. Been reprinted to death now, but still a very powerful commander card. And an uncommon Silver or Slibersmith after that. Oh. Land Mentor, Faceless Devourer. Firewake Sliver. Rare is a Hive Stone. Two mana value. And a, oh, Mystic Sanctuary. This is a, if this was a uh, time-shifted card, time-shifted foil, excuse me, that would be a monstrous hit. As it stands, that is a zero for mana value. So Joey kind of went the other way. I felt it was mostly low here. So zero, two, five, 10, eh, 15, and 16. A little on the lower side, but not crazy, crazy low. All right, Bear Paw, you are up next. Bear Paw, we have not seen a ton of value yet so far. It's time. Let's make it happen, huh? Here we go. Rough and Tumble, Yavimaya Dryad, Nightshade Assassin. Rare is a Fungus Sliver. And a Hollow one after that is a 5 mana value, so it was a 4 and a 5. Mm hmm. Alright, Jailer, Pendlehaven Elder, Mycologist, Rare is a Glittering Wish, card I always wanted to be better than it turned out to be, Anger of the Gods after that is a 3, and nothing, Token, alright, Basalt Gargoyle, Rift Wing Cloudscape, Wipe away. Love me some split second. Rare is a Murganda. Murganda Petroglyphs. That's a four. And a repeal after that. That is a one and a oh, foil rare. Oh, Draining Wilk. Not a super valuable card, but the foiling on that looks really good. And as far as mana value is concerned, that is a big old beefy. That is a big old beefy six. I will sleeve this up because it is a foil. And again, these are pretty, you know, about one per box on average. All right, Bear Paw, so let's see here. Yeah, it was a third pack, so we've got ourselves a 6, 7, 11, 14, 15, 16, 21, and a 25. And that uh, that foil rare did propel you to the, uh, the high thus far. 
Okay, we have not seen any Mythics yet. We have not seen any real, real Spice yet. Come on, box. Let's turn it around. All right. Fithesis. Mirboa. Mirboa. Rebuff the Wicked. Actually, a pretty good little uncommon. That's about $4. Rare is a Nether Trader. Not a bad rare also. It is a two. And a Panharmonicon. Nice. Actually, a pretty sweet pull. Um, was a lot more valuable before the Double Masters 2022 reprint, but it still does carry some value. And just a really sweet card at that. Love that retro frame. This time shifted. Okay. Whoa. Brian Elemental, Dusk Rider Peregrine, Clockwork Hydra, Mythic. Oh, there we go. Finally, there's a hit. So first Mythic of the box, and it's a darn good one. I think a Chroma's Memorial is still carrying like a $20 plus prize tag. So that is a bona fide hit. And a Corsair of Crufix after that. And a Foil Uncommon, Calciform Pools after that. Let's definitely sleeve up the Chroma's Memorial. Nice hit, Reese. All right. First Mythic of the box, it's a good one. Um, there are like 15 Mythics. This is kind of before they just blew up and started putting 20 and 30 Mythics per, per set. There are only 15 Mythics in this product. Um, five of them kind of aren't very good, if we're being quite frank. Um, you have a few in the middle, and then you have a couple of bangers at the top. And I would say that the Chroma's Memorial is more towards the banger. So that's really nice. Keen Sense. Outrider Encore. Paradise Plume. Rare after that is a Pact of the Titan. That is a zero for mana value. And after that, a Remand, which is a two. A two. All right. So that's, uh, that's three packs. All right, here we go. So it's two. Still a two. Nine. Uh, tw uh, nine plus three. That's a 12. 16, 17, and 18 for Reese. And yeah, you bet we're going to throw that a Chroma's Memorial at the top. Yep, okay. Yep. All right. David, you're up next. Still live for Mythics. Now, I mentioned that the uh, time-shifted foils are about one per box. I've seen as many as three per box, but there are also zero boxes out there. Um, I don't want to jinx it. I've never had a zero box on channel. I've never opened a zero box. Some of the boxes have made me wait till the very last pack. Actually, it's happened a couple of times, but I've never had a, a, t a zero time-shifted foil box yet. I hope that doesn't start today. I've pulled as many as three personally, so there is some, some variance there. Skittering Monstrosity. Conflict Greg. Yep, yeah, Mythic. Oh, it's a bad one. Uh, I don't know why they put Hypergenesis in it. This card was already banned before the re like before this set came out well in advance. It's a really weird reprint um, to have put in here. It's a zero for mana value, and uh, it's unfortunately not a very valuable Mythic as well. Behind that, we have a Vampire Hex Mage. I will sleeve it up because it's a Mythic, and you never know. You just never know. All right. Next pack up for David. So that is our second Mythic. You average about four. Um, I've definitely had five boxes, and that's not counting if there's a foil. Um, but on average, it's, it's closer to four. Sudden Shock. Whip Spine Drake. Cottery Sliver. Rare is a Slaughter Pact. That is a zero. Actually, a pretty playable rare, but uh, zero for mana value. And after that, a Bedlam Reveler, which is a big old eight for mana value. That's huge. Huge for mana value. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Hey, finally, at least a decent uncommon. Pongify, still about $5. Very nice. Prodigal Pyromancer, Timmy. Necromatic, or uh, Necrotic Sliver. Rare is a, there we go. There's a nice card. Very, very nice. That is a pack of negation. Super sweet rare. And a Johnny's Pride made after that. And we do have a foil. What do we got going on here? It's a full comment. It's a Knight of Circe. Lannister? Uh, all right. Let's sleeve up the Pact real quick just because that is a more towards the top tier hit for rares. All right. So we have a 2. That's a 10. Still a 10. 12. Still a 12. Still a 12. All right, David. With the low, low 12. All right, just double checking my math along the way. Here we go, uh, J and V up for two. So we're halfway through the box. We've seen two mythics. We have not seen a foil time shifted card yet. 
Honestly, we've been... I think Chromo's Memorial is a really good hit, but we've kind of been a little bit lackluster on the big hit so far. So, Core Dirge. Rift Mark Knight. Molten Slag Heat. Rare is a Vesivin Shapeshifter. That is a 5 for mana value. And after that, a Ponder. Actually, one of the more solid hits if this were foil. Oh my goodness. Uh, but even Ponder, is a uh, as a time-shifted card, is a really sweet pull. So that's really nice. It's also a 1 for mana value. Okay. Didn't even do the uh, results because I'm a maniac and I just wanted to jump in round two. I'll do that next year in a second. Results of round one. All right. Enslave. Might Sliver. Delay. Really like that card. Sarah Avenger. Good old Sarah Avenger. That is a two. And a uh, Lingering Souls after that. That is a three. So before I count these up, um, after round one, we had JMV with a 17. Unholy Ram with a 23, Joey with a 16, uh, Bear Paw with a, in the high with a 25, Reese with an 18, and David in the low with a 12. So J and B, adding to your total of 17, you have 3, 4, 5, 6, and an 11. And that gives you a 28, and we're going to throw that Ponder on top. Decent hit there. Ponder's probably hanging out around... Eight to ten bucks. Here we go. Unholy Ram. Got ourselves a Dune Rider Outlaw. Sudden Shock. Street Wraith. Where is it? Extirpate, a card I personally love. It's a one. And a Far Seek after that. Good old time shifted Far Seek is not a bad pull. Foil Uncommon is a Prodigal Pyromancer. That's nice. All right. Okay, we've got ourselves a big game hunter. Mystical teachings. Smallpox. Rare is a cloud key. And exquisite firecraft after that. And that's going to do it there. All right. So we have a three, six, Seven, eight, and a nine. Giving Ram a 32. A 32 currently. All right. Joey B up for two. Shaper Parasite. Yixalid Jailer. Whip Spine Drake. Rare is a Vencer, Shaper Savant. Oh, Vencer. Team or Battle Rage after that. That's a two. Looks like we have a foil. What have we got going on here? It's a full common. Ancient Grudge. Actually, there would have been a time where a foil Ancient Grudge would have been a pretty uh, pretty good hit. All right. Next pack. Calciderm. Shivan Sand Mage, Might of Old Crosa. Rare is a Greater Gargadon. That is a big old giant 10 for mana value. That is a huge mana value. Not sure that's what we were going for at this point, but here we are. And a Beast Within, actually a pretty solid pull as a time shifted card. Very nice. And what do we have back here? There's another foil rare. Oh, it's a Reiterate. Actually, a really solid hit as a foil rare. As far as foil rares are concerned, it's not bad. This card has a Sees a little bit of play, and uh, it's a pretty pretty strong spell. Foil version of it, not bad. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Second foil rare, that's not bad. So we got a 3. <laughs> that's a 13. 14, 15, 19, and uh, 19 plus 3. That's a 22. Well, takes uh, takes approximately one Gargadon, and there you go. You, Joey, you are currently in the high with a 38 after that 22 round. Bear Paw up next. Currently, it was previously in the high with a 25. Fire Makavu, Dread Return, Salt Crusted Step, Teleria West, that is a zero for mana value, and a Vanquisher's Banner. That's actually a solid hit as a uh, time shifted card. Very nice. Looks like we have another foil back here. What do we got going? Oh, it's a time shifted foil rare. It is the Relentless Rats. Nice. 
you know, it's not going to be one of the pricier hits as far as um, the, the time-shifted foils are concerned, but it's actually still a really solid hit, it being one of those cards that doesn't follow the rule of four where you can have as many in your deck as you want. Uh, it's a card I really like, so that's a pretty solid hit. And it is a time-shifted foil. So still no zero box. I feel like at this point, like, as the more and more boxes they open, I just am like, okay, I just want to breathe a sigh of relief by opening the first one. Anything we get beyond the first one starts to become gravy, but you don't want... I don't ever want to have the dreaded zero. Cryptic Analid. Lost Oromancers. Rare is a Dryad Arbor. So you're on the low path this round, Bearpaw. There's a zero. The saddest robot. Solemn Simulacrum. Okay. So we have ourselves a four. Still a four. Five, six, seven. Uh, that's a 12. And still a 12. That gives you a 37 and puts you one behind Joey B currently for the high. Let me throw these to the bottom there. Okay, Reese. Should still be live for two more Mythics. We did finally find a foil time shifted card. All right. Sorry, just moving piles. All right. Harmonize. Harmonic Sliver. Imperiosaur. Yeah, it's a dinosaur. Rare is a Coalition Relic. Would have been a valuable card at one point, back in the day. A Path to Exile. Pretty nice pull as far as the time-shifted cards are concerned. That's sweet. And a Foil Common is a Kabu Primark. Next pack. Have ourselves a Spell Burst, Cotterary Sliver, Primal Force Mage. Rare is a Porphyr Nodes, the White Drop of Honey. Silence, there we go. Silence is a rock solid uh, time shifted card. This is definitely up there. Probably, uh, probably hanging out in the eight or nine dollar range still, last I checked. All right, so that's a one, that's a two, that's a three, and uh, three plus uh, three, that is a, uh, that is a six. Reese, you are in the low right now. David was previously in the low. Well, technically still in the low till he opens his packs, but a six for two packs is a low, low mana value. All right, David. This is a muck drub. Salt blast. Return to dust. Rare is a summoner's pack. Summoner's Pact is kind of an undervalued card in my opinion. I really like it. It doesn't see uh, enough love. Mystic Confluence after that, that is a five. So we had a zero and then a five mana value. We have a foil. Ooh, hey, you know what? Um, foil commons, uh, there are a few that are pretty valuable. Dead and Gone is one of them. Um, and this is another one of them. I think Jorah's Time Bug is a foil common because of uh, the Doctor Who stuff and with suspended time counters and whatnot. Pretty sure this is like a $12 foil common. Um, enough, and I'm confident enough, I'm going to actually put that in the sleeve. I'll make sure I put it down to the bottom so I don't mix it in with the, the mana values, but pretty sure that's like a $12 common, uh, foil common. Simeon Spirit Guide is the other one. I think Simeon Spirit Guide, the foil, was like 15 bucks. Foil commons with value, huh? What a time. Here we go. Thick-skinned Goblin. Saltfield Recluse. Crows and Grip. Rare Mythic is a rare, and it is... Oh, there we go! Finally! Finally! Man, I was just getting ready to call the box out for, for letting me down because it really had not been a spicy box, if I was being honest, but this absolutely helps. Urborg, still a ginormous hit. This is a $30 plus dollar card. Huge. And it's also a uh, zero for mana value, which is, I think, where David wants to be. And then a Lava Spike after that, which is a one. Another Foil Common after that, a Veiling Oddity. Not as cool as the Time Bug, but uh, you know what is cool? Uh, Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoths. Very, very nice. Well, that's well played, David. All right, so you have yourself a one, still a one, uh, six, and still a six. Which gives you an 18. So let me throw this Urborg on top here. Move some of these around. 
All right, so after two rounds, we have J&V with a 28. We have Unholy Ram with a 32. We have Joey B in the high currently with a 38. And a Dead Heat with Bear Paw, who is at a 37. Reese with a 24. And David currently in the low with an 18. Okay, uh, there are some massive mana value cards, Delve. So I'm not prepared to call this in any particular direction because some of the Delve cards, really, just like the Gargadon, really add some mana value. Last pack. Here we go, everybody. Good luck. Let's find some more stuff. We should still be live for at least one or two Mythics. Joda's Vendor. Urza's Factory. Storm Entity. Rare Mythic is a rare, and it is a Benelish Commander that is a 4-4 mana value. Followed by a Gurmag, and there's one of the Delve cards. There's a 6. A six excuse me, a 7. So that is a 4 plus 7. That's an 11 for mana value. Uh, that gives you a 39. It puts you in the high for the moment, but um, you you have nothing, you know, a little more than a puncher's chance at this point. All right. Ram with a 32. Riptide Pilfer. Arcblade. Stone Cloaker. Mythic is a living end that is a zero for mana value, but this is a mid-tier mythic. This is like a seven or eight dollar mythic, not one of the duds. Pretty nice. And a uh, consuming aberration, which is a five mana value after that, and the token. So let me sleeve up said living end here. And that was a five for Ram. Ram that puts you at a 37. It's probably not going to get the job done today. You're auto, you're not in the high, and uh, I don't think you'll be in the low. So, all right, Joey B. Currently in the high with a 38. Can be some really, really wild swings in mana values here. Nothing is decided. Aven Mind Sensor, Scrib Ranger, Dread Ship Reef. Rare is a Heartwood Storyteller. That is a three. And a Baral Chief of Compliance after that, that is a 2. So you're adding 5 mana value to your total. And that gives you a 43. It is enough to keep you in the high. I don't know if it, enough to, it will be enough to stay in the high. Bear Paw. Chasing 6 mana value, 7 to surpass. I don't know what tiebreakers look like right now. Here we go. Haze of Rage. Stormfront Riders. Mycologist. Rare is a Jora of the Gitu. And after that, a Time of Need. That is a 5. Bear Paw, I do believe you're going to come up just a little bit short today. There's a 42 for mana value. But you do have yourself a really sweet Relentless Rats Foil Time Shifty card. Love it. All right, Reese. Uh, don't have a real shot at the high, so you are looking for like double lands here. <laughs> or or a pact to stay in uh, low contention. Joda's Avenger, Celestial Crusader, Primal Force Mage. Rare. <laughs> well, there's one. There's a land. Uh, Flagstones of a dollar. That is a zero for mana value. And then oh, Itali. Not a small mana value. Although Itali, with dinosaurs being all the rage, is all of a sudden like a six dollar card or something like that. So as many printings as it is, the time shifted one does have value. And there's another card behind. Oh, it's another. It's another foil. It's another foil time shifted card. It is a disdainful stroke. Nice. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Probably not going to stay uh, in uh, low contention. But uh, an Acroma's Memorial and an Atali and a foil time shifted disdainful stroke is not a bad place to be. All right. So uh, six, seven, eight for mana value. Gives you a 32, and I don't even know what to put on top. I think I have to default to the time-shifted foil because they're so good-looking. Although it really pains me to cover up the Chroma's Memorial there. All right, David. You're wanting to keep it low here. Box kind of turning up the juice a little bit. Makes me a little bit happier. Okay, here we go. Tromp the, um, tromp the yard. Uh, Utopia Micon. Mythic is a Vesula that is also a zero for mana value. David, you are some sort of sorcerer. Not a bad card and a zero for mana value. Hedron Archive for a four, and that's going to do it there. So we did get our fourth, uh, end up getting our fourth Mythicas on top of that, and it was a good one for David, so that's a four mana value. 
David, you're in the low with a 22. Pulled off all the low mana values to capture that low. All right, slide these to the bottom, great. Okay, so final standings here are JMB with a 39, Unholy Ram with a 37, Joey B in the high with a 43, Bear Paw with a 42, Reese with a 32, and David in the low with a 22. Let's see some prize packs. Lost Caverns has been a pretty generous set for me so far. Hopefully we see some other juice come out of these. Going from TSR packs to these time these uh collector packs is <laughs> it's something. It's something. All right. Little planes action. The lava tongue. Deep fathom echo. Yaha. Uh -huh. Fabrication foundry. Sun frill. Imitator. Im imitator. Imitator. Yeah, I can say words. I don't know. That's the commander card. Hey, Tashana's Tidebender is a borderless card. That is a good hit. That is a really good hit. Now, Jurassic Park is a land, and it's, it's at least a foil land. All right. And we conclude with a three-fold Thunder Buddy. All right. Um, you know, the Tashana's Tidebender is not a bad. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, Joey B. Island action. Capricotti Sun Horn. Sunborn? I don't know. Poetic Ingenuity. Sunken Citadel. The Grim Captain's Locker. Come on, turn up the juice. Malcolm, Alluring Scoundrel. Another Plains. Mm. Another Jurassic Park Cayenta. Okay. And conclude with a oh, Restless Anchorage. Alright. Nah, that was uh that was not. That was not the business for a prize pack as far as that was concerned. You know, uh, that's going to do it for me today. It wasn't the spiciest box of TSR I've ever opened, but it did kind of show up. What did end up being a double foil time shifted, we did get a, a Urborg and a Chroma's Memorial. So it was not it was not a train wreck, but it definitely wasn't the spiciest box I've ever hit. I uh, appreciate the patrons. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to do this. Um, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.